In this video, we're going to derive the generating functions for a gamma distribution. We're going to look at the factorial moment generating function, the moment generating function, the characteristic function for this gamma density. Um, and, the, and the definitions are here. This is at the end of a probably a 9 or 10 video little mini series on these generating functions. And now I'm just going to do several examples until I don't feel like doing it anymore. <laughs> so let's, let's just jump right in. We'll just start with the factorial moment, which is defined as, as t to the x. And so um, we eta of t is this expected value. So you stick that in with the gamma density. Um, now we have to manipulate this. I want to join it with this e. So I take the log of it. And then the e of it, and then which is um, which is here, so the x can it can be as an exponent, and so the e and the natural log cancel, we get t to the x. So this doesn't change, but it allows us to combine these e's. Um, so we I divide by beta and multiply by beta, and then combine these into one, and that's what is done here. Next, um, I want, this is a, um, it looks like another gamma distribution with, uh, with a different beta. So if we think of this as going as like inverse, so it goes down, so it's beta, this inverse, um, it looks just like another gamma, but this beta is now, you know, this piece here combined. So we, we need to multiply and divide by something to make this a beta, and that's what we do here. So we multiply and then divide, or divide and multiply, depending upon how you look at it. So this is the new beta. Oh, and it's raised to the alpha there. Um, well, and the reason you do that is this integrates to 1. And we're left with just this. Now this is, uh, these intervals only converge when t is between 0 and 1. So how do you use a factorial moment generating function? You take the uh, first derivative of this and you get this. And uh, then to find the expect the first factorial moment is the derivative of that evaluated at t1, which is beta 0. So log of 1 is 0, so this drops out, you get um, 1 over 1. And then uh, to find the second factorial moment is uh, you take the second derivative of, the, you take the derivative of this or the second derivative of that and you come up with this function here. Now, by definition, the second factorial moment is, you, there's one term, there's two terms. That's why it's called the second factorial moment. And you, it's called a falling factorial also. Um, so the second derivative evaluated at 1, you get um, alpha beta times alpha beta plus beta minus 1. And you can see that when you plug in 1 to these uh, logs, they, they go away. So to find the variance is the first factorial moment plus no, no the second factorial moment plus the first factorial moment times 1 minus the first factorial moment and when you plug in the numbers here you get alpha plus beta squared which is the variance of a of a gamma distribution so the moment generating function is, is defined as this expected value. So you stick in E times the gamma. And then now we can combine those E's directly. And we use the same trick to make this look like another gamma, where this is the new beta. So then we need to multiply and, and divide by something over here to make it look like um, another gamma distribution. And then... Uh, so this integrates to 1 and that's left over. And, and again, if you notice, if you take the uh, first derivative of this, you get that. And then evaluate it at 0, you get alpha beta. So that's the first moment. 
the uh, take the second derivative you get this evaluated at zero and you get this and that's the second moment and again you know the ex expect the second moment minus the first moment's quantity squared you get alpha plus beta squared so that's the same result now the characteristic function um, will be a little bit easier but because we've already calculated the moment generating function and the characteristic function is the moment generate function evaluated at IT which is this expected value but it really means just stick in an IT wherever there was a T so this was our moment generate function so then our characteristic function is this and you can do the same thing take derivatives of it if you if you need to now since we just did the gamma distribution by default we know the chi-squared and the exponential distributions because they are special cases of a gamma distribution well that's all I have for today hope you enjoyed it if you did please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one thanks bye